we are getting live now. I wonder why it won't let me enable stars. Because viewers that can see stars during the video means that it can give you, like, real money, I think. Ooh, maybe we just need to be hotter. <laughs> I don't know. But we are live. This is our final virtual Cyber Week video of the week. We've been streaming every day at about 3 o'clock or so here at Three Gear Studios inside Historic Savage Mill. Um, we are one of the many small local businesses here. And uh, yeah, it's very important to support those small businesses during uh, the holiday shopping season. But, you know, and always. <laughs> so, I guess some announcements. Um, Monday, we did our first cyber live, sh cyber live stream shopping event. And with that one, we showed our 20 under 20. So this is kind of a little recap. We did 20 under 20, our holiday gift guide. And that is available on our website, thegearstudios.com. And it also has a discount code Cyber 20, where you can get 20% off store wide online. So that will include the products we're going to show you today if you want to go ahead and take advantage of some of those deals. This would be a great time to do that. And then on Tuesday, we featured our game library. Uh, that's actually just over there. Our sidewalk sale. If you spend any amount, <laughs> you can take these wonderful items home with you. So we went over some of the things that we went that we have on this table. A portion of the proceeds will be going to our extra life charity, um, which benefits the John Hopkins Children's Hospital. So you want to thank everyone who's already, you know, helped us surpass our goal. We just like killed it this year, and hopefully we'll do that next year as well. Um, but again, you can continue to come and pick up these great tabletop games from the sidewalk sale table at a pay what you want price. So that was Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, I showed some of my handmade jewelry from Deco and Dice. Hey, hey it looks like we're getting in some more. <laughs> uh, for the maybe sidewalk sale, so I'm not sure. And um, so Tuesday, we did my Deco and Dice jewelry, which is Dice jewelry, fake sweets, a lot of whimsical stuff. We got a special discount code for my macaroon necklaces on our website if you um, watch that stream. And then on Thursday, we did our Army Painter Rack, which is just over there in our RPG section. So right now, if you come to the shop, you can buy two from the accessories rack and you get 10% off. So if you know any hobby gamers, you know, a lot of that stuff makes really great stocking stuffers. So that was what we did Monday through Thursday. If you missed any of those videos, you can Check them out either in our playlist here, Shopping with Three Year Studios on Facebook, or you can hop on over to our YouTube channel, Three Year Studios, and watch any any of the past ones. And I probably did those announcements too quickly because I didn't even get a chance to share this on our website. Well, why don't you go do the, all the sharings while I will go... And double check and make sure and everything is set up. Sing right. and dance for the players. We need to dance. You do happy dances when you shop smoke. <laughs> so welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh as covered there was uh, as covered we've had lots of deals so far this uh, this week. Some of them are getting ready to sunset, some of them are not. Um, but we're glad to have every one of you here watching today. Uh, today we were planning on hitting a bunch of the uh, a bunch of board games and things that we think we're just plain make for good holiday shopping. Um, because we know it's a ho uh, that it's the holidays. Christmas is co uh, coming. Hanukkah's right around the corner, faster than we, than we believe. Because um, that's actually might start any day now. Um, and um, all the other holiday gift, uh, gift giving times 
are here for you to come and shop even during this time. Which is why we have uh, in store, uh, you can shop online, pick it, pick it up at our store, we can ship it out to you, uh, and um, you can even uh, do curbside pickup with us because we do those things. Um, oh, this week has been such a run that I, I am tired trying to stream every single stream this stuff every kind of, every single day. And I know you streamers out there are sitting there saying amateur, but whatever. Um, as soon as Lena gets back here, we'll start going through some of the awesome things that we have here. Um, and I, we have someone swinging on through right now, dropping off more things that will end up being on our discount table. Um, we have our D&D Seasons program games starting up, uh, starting up uh, all this week. Um, I have to keep an eye out because I know that one is going to be starting about 30 minutes into the stream and we need to make sure that everything is going fine for them. Uh, and we have a learn to, d and Learn to Play that's starting up on the 30th. Um, and so we got one Learn to Play session so you can come in, get a primer for everything d and followed up by in the following weeks with a Learn to Play campaign. Great way for people, uh, inexperienced people to learn how to play the game and for experienced people, uh, um, experienced people to learn how to play it online since we use Roll20 for this. Um, so, lots of things to show, lots of things to talk about. Hold on one moment. video is showing up as good as I want it to show up, like, because when I was out and about sharing this video around, the quality didn't look that good. I'm just going to double check on my phone. Yeah, and it's just a matter of waiting to get it in. Exactly. Yeah, I only rushed these in instead of a truckload, because yeah. I'm going to get the third right gate, because I gave you those pieces, what, two weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah, that's your internet business doing this scares me that there's nobody that's why we're live streaming right now <laughs> reaching out to the masses <laughs> so um yeah we are uh, i have some other announcements that i don't think Stuart mentioned and that is roxanne cynics Stuart's mom my mother-in-law, Roxy, will be on. Uh, she has been doing an amazing job with virtual painting lessons on our YouTube channel. And this month in December, she's going to be doing a Japanese maple. So you can bring your 12 by 12 canvas, your brushes, your oil paints. Tune in at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on our Facebook page. And you can paint a beautiful Japanese maple leaf painting and uh, even get like the details of the water droplets off, falling off the leaves so that one sounds like it'll be a really cool <laughs> but why didn't you bring Mary Jane Mary Jane's working but he's <laughs> and then the um I'm still talking about your mom's live stream tonight and you're distracting me and I, and I can't remember what I'm trying to say. Okay, so with 
no other uh, without any other ado. But the there was another Japanese, thing I needed to the say. Japanese maple, the ma- Japanese oh, maple. I remember now. It had nothing lesson. to do with that. Okay. Tune in for that lesson tonight, seven p.m. to nine p.m. And also, um, she'll be having some deals and things on her website. You want to, if you want to support local artists, you can check out her website, um, and that's RoxanaCynicsArt.com. Um, as well, I think she we we're doing a painting giveaway for her. We'll give you more information, or if you tune in tonight, we'll have uh, she'll probably have that information as well. But she's gonna give away a really amazing either print, I think it's a print, and um, of the mill. So if you've seen her brick detail work, it's just fantastic, it's phenomenal. Yeah. And you can support us on our Patreon page if you like our videos as well. And that's patreon.com slash studios. We have three tiers of benefits, including, I'm really excited, that some of Roxana's art that she's been doing for these virtual live streams will be having them, you know, as a present, a tier. Probably the VIP gold level tier will get some of her amazing art. As swag. Yes, and we, we're definitely, and we also partnered with Nerdy Laundry, who has been coming out with the most amazing, geeky, nerdy, blurdy swag imaginable, and we'll have some special ones available for our gold tier Patreon patrons. But you can also visit Nerdy Laundry. I think it's Red Bubble. Yeah, it's on a Red Bubble site, Nerdy Laundry, and you can pick up some really cute shirts and geeky swag from there as well. I think that's all the things I wanted to mention. Um, Was there with anything the you painting to mention? giveaway, yes. What she's supposed to do yeah. is we're going to have a link on our Facebook page that will and we'll share around that link to all the other corners that we're on. And if you go and follow that link to a landing page where she'll collect your email, she'll then go and use those emails in a drawing for a lovely painting of the old uh, wheelhouse for the mill on uh, next to the water. And it is a gorgeous landscape of a river, uh, of the uh, riverbed. Yes. So I, yeah, Miss Roxy makes the most amazing bu- uh, buildings because she used to be an architect. So <laughs> she just really gets buildings. Not that her other work is amazing too. I just bought a really pretty Christmas present for my mom, so I can't tell what it is. I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> she hasn't even told me. <laughs> okay, we need to get into the shopping. We're like chatting for like 10 minutes. Anyone who's visiting in the stream, you can leave us a comment. Let us know you're here. And you can share it. We'd appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, after all, because as much as we love just showing you guys stuff, it's even better when there's the interaction going on. Yeah, it's telling me to encourage people to, to, to encourage <laughs> all the people and then bring up the first product. Okay, okay, okay. Let me bring up the first product. So live shopping is something Facebook has been incredibly helpful with for small businesses. I know which one that I want to do. Which one do you want to do? Okay, let's see. So we've got all these things. Which one do you want to do? The first one I want to do, because I'm super excited, everyone, everyone should be excited. This one. Well, that one too. This one is movable. Yeah, that one's that one's posable. What does it say about it? It's posable. It's a that's about it. It's yeah. From Hasbro, <laughs> posable. Grogu. And again until Friday. Stuart, can you put that away? I'm trying to show this thing. So this is a uh, Grogu. He finally has his name. The child. And um. He is $34.99, but if you take advantage of our Cyber Monday sale, which have, which is going on the entire week, you can use the code on our website, Cyber20, and even get 20% off this little guy. So he's super popular. 
Like, look at these ears. Yeah. Look at, look at these ears. Ear, it, nice, flexible ears for you to pinch. Ear detail. Um, we also have... We also... No, not that one. We should. That one should be sold out. No, oh, that's this guy. No, it's, is it? Oh, yeah. yeah, it is. The talking one. Yeah, this one is the one. If you don't get it, I am so tempted. I've been. I've, if you're watching The Mandalorian right now, you are seeing commercials for this guy. No, you're not. You're seeing the more expensive one that we can get. No, oh, it's this one because it's talking. The show. The commercials are for the fully anim animatronic, animatronic one. Oh. So this one just talks. He's also thirty four ninety nine. And he makes cooing and baby noises. And you can feed Look him a frog, and face. you can feed him some, uh, some bone broth. It's baby Grogu, and he says, buy me. And he eats all the chicken nuggies and fishy sticks. That's all you need. Chicken nuggies and fishy sticks to keep your baby grow good happy. <laughs> gonna make me make more fishy sticks, aren't you? So we've got two of these. <laughs> these are, and then once these are out, they're out. Like, yeah, we won't be able to get these back in. So these are our only baby Yoda, baby the child, aka Grogu figures yeah. that we have in the shop. I like the fact that this guy has a ball joint on his neck so you can actually get him to look up, look down. All around. Look all around, except for a bad, except for a, he don't feel bad. He don't feel bad for nothing. Okay, what's next up? I think since we're talking about um, Star Wars stuff, okay, we can keep on with that. On that Star Wars note, let's see which one can I pull up. We do have Star Wars Roy Story cubes, so these have the actual fig figures and and icons from the Star Wars movie. And all you do is roll it to make little stories of your own. So this is a Star Wars set of our popular Roy Story cubes. You can't find it, can you? Some of the things, some of the items are here, some of them are not. Okay. So. That's why we probably should find them first and then I'll go pull them up. There they are. Here they are, the Roy Story Cubes. Yeah, so we've seen these these products used for a number of things. If you recall from our 20 under 20 discussion, Roy Story Cubes, you roll them in order to get what, in order to get a bunch of pictures that then you use to tell a story. Fantastic, imaginative exercise for kids or writing prompts for your own Star Wars fan fictions because we all want to hear about the romance between Darth Vader and Yoda because we know it, someone shipped that. So 7 million of these sold wor worldwide. Yep. So these make a good game for, it says ages 6 and up. And, um, it's, and it's a very good way that you can, you know, teach creativity. And it's an Irish designed game because we like pointing out the country of origins of the uh, of where they came from. Yeah, and my sister who also is a writer, she uses those in her creative writing exercises. So that's what I like about Roy Story Cubes is that you can use it for kids or for adults. Okay, so what's next? I what still want to about? go yes. with the Star Wars well, the Queen thing Fantastic. Um, we are live, just so you know. Sorry. Oh, hi, live. <laughs> So what can we do for you? Let's just, I went, I came down looking for pens, and, uh, see if I can find the, there it is. Stuff, and next and thing. Excellent. So and the next thing. Like, you should go upstairs. Excellent. Uh, like, that's an awesome idea. We've got see, you know, Star Wars Unlocked, since we're <laughs> continuing on Star Wars theme. Uh, this is the brand new version of Unlocked, and this is basically an escape room in a box. What makes this one a little bit different other than the fact that it's a Star Wars theme is that they've been coming out with the larger boxes. So before, if you're familiar with Unlocked, you'd get like one adventure and each adventure could be various 
uh, difficulties. So they decided to combine them all into one box with the three levels of difficulty in them. And that's um, easy, medium, and of course, hard. So you've got all of that. This one has rebels, escape from the ice planet Hoth, smugglers break out of an imperial star destroyer and imperial agents recover kyber crystals from the ancient moon jedi so you get a trio of star wars stories puzzle adventures in this one box so it says playtime is 60 minutes ages 10 and up and can take one to six players there's even an a free app that comes with this game to make it even more immersive so that's really cool and the fact that it's cooperative so you're working together to solve a puzzle as opposed to against each other um and then yeah they have the learn a learn to play tutorial as well and this is from space cowboys have you oh i miss more story cubes you missed unlock I missed unlocked. You were you're just here for Roy Star Cubes. Okay. <laughs> I already did the complete rundown all by myself. Including the app assist. What is that? So, all of the uh, all of the escape rooms in the box have some kind of way for to keep track of time and clues. Mm -hmm. This one uh, unlock series works with an app that will keep track of your time, and when you get stuck, they give you clues in order to make sure that you don't get stuck stuck. Thing we always recommend with this one is once you've finished it, once you, once you uh, get your time on, uh, uh, get your best time on each one of the puzzles, you write it on the inside of the box and give it to a friend to see if they can, if their group can beat your time. Mm -hmm. That's so. a good idea. That way you can keep the love going with this game that you buy. <laughs> yeah, because it, it, it because once you solve the puzzle, you solve the puzzle. It's the same every time. Um, but you can sure say, go up to your buddy and say, you know what? We got 48 minutes. What do you got? And they can see. So that is an escape room in a box, Star Wars Unlocked. And I think because I was talking about how it was a cooperative game. Yes. I think talking about maybe one of the Forbidden series games or talking about Pandemic might be good. Yeah, it's Pandemic. That's the regular That's the regular space pandemic. pandemic. So we also, if you're wanting to get into more of those cooperative games, this is the this is where it all this is where the popularity started for the modern cooperative game. Yes, we know there's cooperative games before this one, but so this is the complete original Pandemic. Um, it's got the entire world. Uh, this game is so beautiful. I love the map. I love it. like even the, the zombies. What zombies? Like the little. No, that's from Pandemic Legacy. Oh, that's Legacy. Legacy is so and beautiful. Don't, don't get spoiled. But this one is also really pretty. Yeah, this is really pretty. Like because the board itself is a board of the world, and it's really beautiful. As you're beautiful. playing members of the CDC going around the world trying to cure four deadly diseases before time runs out, your funding runs out, or too many people die. So this um, is ages eight and up, two to four players. It says it takes 45 minutes. It's got two new roles in here. It's got the contingency agent, and my favorite person to play is the quarantine specialist because she's absolutely awesome. Because she knows how to do quarantine right. <laughs> <laughs> if you want something shorter than that, we have just now restocked on the Pandemic Hot Zone. So that's the newest one that has dropped hot, or one of the new ones that have dropped hot. I think it's in here. I thought it was. Sometimes it takes me a little while to scroll so through is, to find it. So this is the shorter, faster version of Pandemic. Um, it focuses just on the North American map, and appropriately so, they it, appropriately so they removed the scientist card from this map. Um, and there's game no mechanics purely. And no quarantine specialist. And no either. quarantine because we don't believe in shutdowns. Um, but this makes a great. <laughs> cooperative two-player game as well because we played it two players yes. and it was really good the first time we we got owned <laughs> but the second time we beat it yeah no it's barely barely but um, we did it so <laughs> yeah it's it's a lot tighter of a decision space which means each move each 
step you take means that much more. There's a lot less w uh, wiggle room between you and victory. Um, it's two to four players, 30 minutes, eight is eight now. And this time there's only three deadly diseases instead of four. Mm. And you might run out of cards of a color. So you get all of North America for this one. And it's much smaller. So if you don't want a long game to play, but you still want a nice cooperative game, yeah. I highly recommend this is Pandemic over, Hot Zone. Regular Pandemic's over in about an hour. This one's about 30 minutes, about half the time. Okay, so what's next on your uh, list? I, I want it, it's not on here, though. Let's go with something brand new that we just got in that I'm excited that is here. <laughs> Which one? Prism. Oh, you got Prism Arena. Arena in already. Yes, that is what I did yesterday. I took some photos with it and put some information online. This is Prism Arena. Prisma Arena. I keep calling it Prism. But Prisma. Prisma, Prisma Arena. It totally carries a Stevens Universe vibe around the whole thing. So this game is by Hub Games. Just look at the battle map, the play space that you get to play with. As you run around a, a, a uh, arena, playing, uh, zapping each other with colors, trying to make sure that you have the last man standing. And look at the characters that you can choose from. I love the fact that this game has such diverse characters and artwork. So yeah, you have. It's two to four players, ages eight. Ages 10 and up, 30 to 60 minutes. You're, you're... Oh, there it is. Putting obstacles in each other's way. It looks almost like little Tetris little blocks that you put in each other's way. And you're, you're battling on this... I guess it's just like a Prisma Space Rainbow board. <laughs> to, you know, be the last... I'm going to say it's like a last person standing type of game. As you, as you also level up your character. So you're using these cards with special abilities. And you're also able to level up your character. And I like how they come with... The, yeah, the customization of your character is just so cool. Because they come with these little stickers. With like different hair and faces and clothes. Like it is... I just want... I could just play with that. <laughs> so... um yeah, this is available now on our website, threeyearstudios.com. And there's even a learn to play in the description box if you want to see how to play this game. Are you looking up some things? I'm trying to look up the design who the designers are. Uh, I'm not sure. So we're gonna have to look it up because I'm kinda curious. Um, because at least the graphic design is such an adorable thing on it's, this It's one. on their website. It, yeah. it does have who, that, who their team is that created the game. Yeah. Uh, Rory O'Connor and John Fiore. So, which I know that John Fiore is an actor, but um, we, uh, I, I, I would be surprised if the same person is the game designer. And while we're still talking about new games, we have Small World of Warcraft. So that is a new game. This is an early one that I got. A, a Small it's World is huge. an early game that I got Lena hooked on for her quest into board gaming, and she loved it. Not at first, actually. It took a couple of times playing it before I actually decided that I like this game. As long as I can just, you know, relax choose my class or race and power and not really have to worry about winning. get super strategic with it and just say this looks really neat and just see how far I can go with it and, and that really what is what won me over with small world and this one does the same thing with world of warcraft as you get to choose your uh, different your different races and powers all from the World of Warcraft universe for you to try to spread over the land of Azeroth and make sure that you have the most powerful tribe of them all. Yeah. I mean, this game just really 
lends itself to the the theme of Warcraft, I think. Because we all know really is the hunting torns, that's where it's at. So how many does this play? This they goes to two to five. Newer expansion with the pandas. I never. I they used have to the pandas. They have the wogs. They have the trolls. They have the wargs. They have the dwarves. The humans. The gnomes. The elves. The other elves and orcs. Because we can't forget about the orcs and the trolls. And all of the people. Two to five players. And Penning even up, the pandas. Forty to eighty minutes. But you can see the world on the back. It's a little bit of glare. But if you like Warcraft and you like Small World, or you know someone who does, yeah, I mean, I've I always, highly recommend this game. I've always found this to be to oh, give uh, so to bad. scratch all the itches of a good game of Risk in a time span that you can fit inside of a night. And the the great thing about this game is that every time you play it, it's fresh and new. You get different combinations of characters that you can try and yeah I'm sitting here looking at the back makes, for the different powers that you get to that you get to I was play, looking at that up. too <laughs> oh you can even be kobolds kobolds are a thing now but yeah you get different powers different combinations and that's really what keeps this game fresh and interesting yeah so let's stick this back on the shelf and Lena choose your next thing Choose my next thing. We're rolling with the new stuff. How about Mysterium Park? The smaller, more compact version of Mysterium as you get nine spaces uh, nine spaces in your park that you get to go and try to explore to figure out where the murder happened. Um, just like the original game, one person plays the ghost, everyone else plays psychics. The ghost will try to communicate where the murder happened by giving out these esoteric picture cards. And everyone else will try to figure out, uh, use those picture cards to try to figure out where the uh, murder happened. Um, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, um, this is ages 10 and up got two to six players and 28 a, minutes or so. A lot of people so. who thought that um, Mysterium was too abstract like this game because it did restrain down the decision making into a nine to nine, nine by nine grid. And so people could work together in, in order to figure out where it happened opposed to each person trying to solve their own mystery. These cards kind of remind me of the artwork from Dixit. Yep, the Mysterium has often been described as Dixit meets Clue. Do we While have Dixit we're up on here? the subject of Dixit, we can talk about. I think we want the newest one. The newest expansion is in stock. There it is. Mirror's the newest expansion. One. I'll get it. Cause I'm like right Because we know it's all really the Mary Jane show. So this okay, is the newest one. Tell We're them about the newest one. Okay, so the newest one. That is the newest one. You, what are you going to say? What was I going to say? What were you going to say? Okay, so this is the newest exp addition to uh, Dixit with all new cards that gives you 80, 84 wonderful cards to add to your Dixit set. Dicks at the game, uh, the chooser game, where one person gives a clue, and everyone else puts down the card that they think best matches with the clue, and everyone's trying to figure out who the uh, judges, which card was the judges' card. Um, this is this is such a fantastic uh, party game. I've even used it to help teach English in Japan. So this is definitely this is not a base game or standalone. You definitely need the base sticks it in order to play with their expansions. Um, this one gives you 84 cards, and I wonder what makes this this particular one. All new artwork for their cards because each, it's almost each expansion gives you more artwork that yeah. is just amazing. So if you have an artist friend. Um, and you, and it also is a good gateway game too. Yes. 
These were illustrations of Sebastian Telesecchi. Unveiled a fantastical reflection of the world we live in, creating a brand new expansion for Dixon. So the artwork is very beautiful. I don't know if you can see it just from the box. But you can look up this, uh, you can probably look him up and find more of his artwork. And we have a lot more of the expansions as well, each one featuring a different artwork. And they're all on our website, throughyourstudios.com. And that, and these are what keeps Dixit fresh, is that you can, you know, if you're done playing with the base game cards, they have a lot of expansions to help you keep your game of Dixit interesting and exciting. So. And these cards are just so beautiful. You could probably, if you're you're done playing the game, just hang them around. Make them, I think we've even hung some of these on our Christmas tree before. Uh, we did, and you still have some hanging on some of our shelves inside the shop because you like them so much. So here's another one. This one's a Revelation expansion. Are these all on our website? Yeah, they're all on our website. This one is the Journey expansion. So it kind of looks like, yeah, journey, journeying to different worlds. Mm -hmm. Xavier Colette is the illustrator for that one. This one is Memories. Memories. <laughs> Co Korean Hinder and Jerome Palacio. So yeah. this one, they said, has exotic landscapes and charming creatures. But you can tell from the box covers that. Yeah, you get a sampling of what the different art, art, artwork looks like. So we have a lot of these Dixits in the store. I love Dixit. And like I said, it's one of those great kind of gateway games played this one over and over to the point you got sick of it. <laughs> I just really like this game. Yeah, because even the best games, if you play too much, you get you get sick of it, which is why I always recommend people to have a wide variety of games in their collection. Okay, and last one, we have two more. She can't help herself. I can't help it. This one is Harmonies. It's got a really cool looking Pinocchio type character on the cover. It is Paul Ecovan. Navigate between whimsical reality and strange prophecies. And this one it has a little moon in it, like a king. It reminds me of a little prince on the cover of this one. But this one is illustrator Frank Dion. Strange and fantastical characters live in realms both familiar and bizarre. So, yeah, if you want to pick up Dixit, that's figurestudios.com. Okay, now we'll go into something new. Okay. I think I wanted to get into the Alice in Wordland. Why don't, okay, it has so a why don't you, in it. Why don't you pop up Alice in Wordland? I gotta go check something real quick with uh, our events. Oh man, these would be really cool with those dice, Roy Story Cubes dice. I'll do it. You do all it? Okay. Let's see. So I'm just getting the product. Kind of have to scroll through a bunch of products to see. I know I put this one on there. Doo, 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 doo. There you are, Alice in in Wordland. It's twenty nine ninety nine. Of course, if you use the code Cyber twenty, you get twenty percent off. And that's on our website because this is part of our Cyber Week live shopping. This is designed by Chris Darsakilis, sorry if I butchered your name, and Spiros Coronis. Um, this Alice in Wordland is a fun party game for the whole family. Players take the roles of characters from Alice in Wonderland with different abilities. All in invited to the tea party of the Queen of Hearts, players have to follow her crazy rules of discussion saying words in particular themes under the pressure of time and it comes with an actual teapot 
that makes music. So it kind of reminds me of like a musical chairs type of a game. I love tea parties. No mistake in there. And so bringing in a game like tea party theme is, you know, probably one of the reasons we have these types of games here in our shop right now. You're not going to really find this in, in many of the, the big box stores. So, you know, maybe a small local friendly game store might have this one. And it is a unique game. You've got your, your teapot, discussion cards, character cards, letter cards, and some tokens. Three to eight players, 25 minutes, and ages 10 and up. There's a how to play um, QR code here so you can watch how it's played. It's also in the description of, for this game on our website. So that's Alice in Wordland. The artwork is really cute as well. Illustrators Amsterman Studios. This is so cute. I just want to play this. I'm hoping one day we can, once everything blows over and we can start doing more events. One event I want to do is just like get our tea party themed games and maybe some Dixits and have like a tea party and tea with dueling. Twisted Tea House. What? And tea dueling. No. No tea dueling? With tea and... No, tea dueling is a, uh, is a push your luck game where you have your cup of tea and you have a cookie and you oh. dip it into the tea and if you're the first one to pull your cookie out of the tea, you lose. But if your cookie crumbles into your tea, you also lose. Yeah, so it's like a that. game. Of, it's it's <laughs> like a game of chicken. Okay, okay, that works too. So we could play. Did you think it was something where you get to throw tea at people? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's tea fling. And I, since we we're talking about tea games, I feel like I need to bring up dinosaur tea party because we've got dinosaurs. And we've got tea. Look at these adorable little dinosaurs in their fancy red hats. I think we did talk about this one before. I'm not Yep, because it's it. in our 20 under 20. Yeah. So we did talk um, about this one on Monday. Yeah. Um, I'm not finding it. So you might have to go to our website to find it, which is at 3gearstudios.com. I'll just put it in the description box because sometimes that happens. So I can just pull it up. Because it's the room where it happens. Yeah. So we've got, if you know anyone who likes tea parties, we've got Dinosaur Tea Party. We've got Alice in Wordland. And I think those are really cute. Okay. So I added it in the description for, description box below for Dinosaur Tea Party. Okay. Oh, also with Mysterium Park, we do have the base Mysterium in stock as well if you want to check out. Do you want to pop that up? Okay, I'll pop it up real quick. If you want to so, get a longer, more, I don't know. Abstract <laughs> version of Mysterium. Um, so, like I said, this is like, we talked about Dixit, we talked about Mysterium Park, where this is, Mysterium is like Dixit meets Clue as you get these abstract, fancy abstract cards that you hand out to different people, trying to lead them to a person, a place, and a murder weapon to try to figure out who did, it, um, what their murder, uh, what their, that murder looks like. And then there's a final round where you decide out of everyone's individual person, place, and thing, which one was the real story. Um, since there's since each individual player figures out their own person, place, and thing, um, the game is a bit more complicated and a lot more abstracted than uh, it, than Mysterium Park. But still, it gives you that I think I'm intuiting through my psychic ability kind of feel doing the whole thing. And one player has to be completely silent silenced during the entire game. So I hate being the ghost. I can't stop talking. <laughs> I 
think we might have time for a few more. Okay, what's next? I would like to talk about Splendor. That one's 39. Oops, not Prism right now. Splendor! <laughs> it's 49.99. Ah, you're Marvel talking Splendor. Of Marvel Splendor. Because as would be tried to make this the season of Marvel. Um, so, so we, yes. Yeah, we do have the original base one as well in stock. Which looks like this that you might be familiar with. So this one is the original Splendor. And they retooled it, reskinned it. So it's that more is than a reskin. More than a reskin? More than a reskin. It's a completely different game? No, it's not a completely different game. So, the, with Marvel Splendor, um, this is based off of the Infinity Wars and uh, Endgame uh, movie duo where everyone's trying to collect the Infinity Stones for their own purposes. Un the Infinity Stones take the place of the gems in the regular Splendor. However, now each one of those Infinity Stones have its own special power, and you can collect different combinations to get extra boosts beyond everyone else. Um, so, if you like Splendor, but you want a little bit more meat on those bones, then getting a... Uh, Getting Splendor Marvel is a fantastic one. And this one's for ages 10 and up, 30 minutes, two to four players. My, uh, our Asmodee rep mm -hmm. actually sold her regular Splendor game because she likes Splendor uh, Marvel so much. Oh. So. <laughs> so that is Splendor Marvel. Three. Okay, what's next? I think we should do just one more. So I'm trying to find what I want to do. It's either going to be Ticket to Ride, because we have a bunch of Ticket to Rides, or I was well, thinking why don't... it could be maybe Mariposas. Let's do Ticket to Ride, because I'm, I haven't had a chance to play Mario Poses yet. Even though Mario Poses is such a I'm hot I'm just going to give it an honorable um, mention right now. Mario Poses. Because it's got a wonderful designer, Elizabeth Hargate. We have Wingspan in. It's sold out across the board. And we, but we do have her brand new game, Mario Poses, in stock with Which the butterflies themed. <laughs> all has to do with migrating monarchs uh, across the... Uh, Southwest, um, because we know all that there's all these challenges the monarchs have to go through um, as you're trying to make sure that your monarchs do a better migration than everyone else. Uh, I think, like I said, I haven't had 45 to 75 minutes, two to five players, ages 12 and up. Yeah, I think it, it is about migrating monarchs, it's played in three seasons. In general, your butterflies will try to head north in spring, spread out in summer, and return south in the fall. At the end of each season, there is a scoring round. At the end of fall, the player with the most victory points has the most successful family of butterflies and wins the game. So you're raising a family of butterflies! So one, you migrate your butterflies across the continent. Two, you collect flowers and breed to score points. Three, you return home. Because that's how that that that's so the this would be a really psycho. good like game of game what's game it? of butterflies. No no no, not entertainment, but like it is kind of entertainment. It, it all her games are, which is the <laughs> game schooling. That's the word. Game schooling. This would make a really fantastic game schooling game. Mario yeah. poses and wingspan too, especially like if you're teaching natural sciences or. Oh yeah, no, Earth Wingspan is fantastic yeah. on that one. Particularly once you start getting the actual measurements of the different birds. Exactly. Um, okay, our final game of the day we'll be talking about Ticket to Ride. Okay. So we've got Ticket to Ride Japan. We've got Ticket to Ride Amsterdam. We've got Ticket to Ride the base. Ticket to Ride Europe and Ticket to Ride... Rails and Sails. Rails and Sails. So. Uh, we'll talk about Ticket to Ride Japan because we love this one so much. We even have pictures of Lena playing. Um, so. This one comes with Shinkansen's. Uh, this one, <laughs> it, this is the Japanese and Italian maps. The Japanese map is the kindest map I have run into. 
Um, Italian map is the meanest map I've ran into. Um, so with the like as usual, each version of Take It to Ride has its own special rules to make it new and unique for everybody. With Japan, you get the bullet, the Japanese bullet train, the Shinkansen. Um, you compete to see who can, uh, as a part of the game, you compete to see who can build the most parts of the Shinkansen as a part of your points. However, once you build the Shinkansen, uh, pieces of the Shinkansen, you get to, um, everyone gets to use that stretch of track. Um, which means that it's really easy for people to be able to stretch between, from one end of the continent to the next. Uh, one end of the island to the other. Uh, with the Italian map, you get, uh, there are all, they break up the country into all of these little, uh, all these little territories. Um, each territory you uh, you connect to will gain you points, and it's real easy to kind of crowd people out of getting into certain areas with this one. So that would be Ticket to Ride. And we are at 4 o'clock. So I'm just going to wrap this up. Again, if you were watching our live stream this week, thank you so much. And um, hopefully we'll see you either supporting our own our local business here in historic savage mill online or off again if you shop online we offer curbside pickup we offer free delivery for orders of 99 dollars or more with the coupon code free ship and as always we strictly adhere to the guidelines for uh, COVID with social distancing. If you come into the mill, you must wear a face mask and we make sure to wipe down high contact areas and make sure everything is nice and clean when we, when we send it out. And also we can do curbside pickup so you just let us know when you order the item that you are here and, and we can arrange to have you know, the curbside pickup in our loading dock either west lot or main lot it's fine and uh in-store pickup as well so if you want to shop small shop local this holiday season we'd really appreciate it and hopefully you will tune in about 7 p.m for miss roxy's free live stream that's going to be going on in a few hours bring your 12 by 12 canvas and your oil paints and watch her paint a beautiful momiji japanese maple leaves and paint along with her. Is there okay. any last things you want to say? Um, and of uh, course... There's the bridge lighting on Saturday. Well, sorry. Totally forgot. There's the bridge lighting, which the mill's encouraging you to watch it live. So Santa, I think, and maybe some carolers will be there. And you talked about... I'll post it on our Facebook page as well so that you can view that um, live stream of the Bowman Bridge annual bridge lighting online from the Comfort and hopefully warmth of your own home because I'm sure it's going to be free. And you talked to him about how today's the last day of the 50, uh, 50 for 20% discount? No, what? The, 50 uh, for 20 50, Spend $50 online and you get 20% oh, off. Oh, that's right, right. And this is, today is the last day. So yes. get that shopping in before the week, uh, before the day is over. That's the Mary Cyber 20 code. So if you spend $50 or more from our website, Put in the code CYBER, C-Y-B-E-R, 20, CYBER20, in the coupon code to get 20% off your purchase. And that's going to end today, so get those orders in for the holidays. And uh, that's about it. Oh, Santa Claus is coming tomorrow, too. A nice socially distanced photo with Santa, if you want to come to the Savage Mill tomorrow as well. There's that. Gary <laughs> Jade has one last message. Shop safe, shop small. Shop local. <laughs>